proper broken glass removal materials such as this dust pan right here and then take it to uh, the broken glass box appointed to us by the teacher. Now let's take a look at what's wrong with this situation. For starters, always use the metal ones, not the rubber ones because the hot crucible will melt the rubber. Next, look at our two lab, lab associates in here. Neither are wearing glasses, proper lab safety goggles, and both have earbuds in the lab station, which is never okay, ever. And finally, they never took the proper precautions of making sure the gas was on for the Bunsen burner, causing extreme danger, and we have loose jewelry hanging off of our neck. This is never okay in a lab situation, and it can be extreme danger to yourself and others. So remember, kids, be safe in the lab. All right. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Today in the video you watch, you witnessed several unsafe lab procedures. Now, when you're in the chemistry lab, it's important to understand a few things. And the first is safe disposal of broken materials. Always look for the broken glass box provided by your teacher. And the second is always be aware of where to dispose of lab chemicals while you're in lab. We use the Bunsen burner a lot, so it's, under, it's important to understand where to put the chemicals that we use in the lab. And third, it's important to understand, be aware of the materials that are hot. Your iron ring, that's always gonna be hot after using the Bunsen burner. Your crucible is always gonna be hot. And lastly, it's important to understand that you use the metal crucible tongs and not the rubber ones. This is the crew at Lane Incorporated and our main focus here is keeping everyone safe in the lab setting. All these actions performed in this, these videos were done by professionals so don't try this at home or in the chemistry lab.